Did you know at one point in time, a hunter's maximum DVS rotation could fit into just one macro? Back in the Burning Crusade, Beast Mastery Hunters were the best DPS spec for hunters. As this was still in the early days of WoW, class balance wasn't the best, and every pure DPS class had one spec, which was just way better than the other two. Now in the Burning Crusade, a new ability was given to hunters called Steady Shot. Steady Shot was a spammable filler ability which hunters lacked in vanilla WoW. All of the hunter's shots before Steady Shot had cooldowns. So a hunter's standard rotation was to use the cooldowns of all of their abilities, and then just wait for those cooldowns to come back up. All while just doing auto shot damage. And with Steady Shot, hunters finally gained an ability to use during the downtime of waiting for their cooldown abilities to come back up. And they made the ability really good. Steady Shot just did a lot of damage in the Burning Crusade. So much so that for BM hunters, it was a DPS loss to try to weave in other abilities. For example, the hunter's Serpent Sting, basically their only damaging dot, would have its damage increase based on 10% of the hunter's attack power. Pretty standard scaling with gear. Whereas Steady Shot would increase the damage based on 20% of the hunter's attack power, and also increase in damage based on the damage of your weapon. So it had two points of scaling with your gear, and scaled a little too well. As in Wrath of the Lich King, they reduced the attack power gain from 20% down to 10%. All that to say, Burning Crusade Steady Shot was powerful, but there was a problem with only spamming Steady Shot. And that was your auto shot. Physical DPS classes, basically all melee classes and hunters, have the ability to auto attack, where their weapon will just do damage every two seconds or so, depending on the speed of your weapon. So in the early days of WoW, there were a lot of abilities that would reset or delay the timer of your weapon. So if you did an auto shot, you had to wait two and a half seconds for the next one to go off. And then if you used steady shot right as that two and a half seconds was about to end, the steady shot would go off in place of the auto shot. And then it would reset its timer, which basically just meant that auto shot would fire as soon as it was able to, since auto shot had about a half second invisible cast timer. But it would never be able to fire if you just kept spamming steady shot after that, causing you to miss auto shot damage, which is known as clipping your auto shots. And since steady shot had no cooldown and could be spammed as long as you had mana, it was real easy to accidentally clip all of your auto shots and severely lower your DPS, as auto shot damage made up a large amount of your total damage. So if doing nothing but spamming steady shot was the most amount of damage, but in doing so you clipped all of your auto shots, how were you supposed to perform maximum DPS? Well, this is where the macro comes in. In the Burning Crusade, it was possible to create a macro which is straight up wouldn't allow you to use Steady Shot more than every two and a half seconds, or whatever your ranged weapon speed was. So let me go over the macro and then I'll explain how it works. The macro always starts with hashtag show tooltip Steady Shot. This would just make it so that your macro would show the tooltip for Steady Shot when you moused over it because without this line in the macro, when you mouse over a macro, it won't show you anything other than the name of the macro. The next line would be for hiding script UI errors, as back then they didn't have an option to disable it by default. So since you'd be spamming one ability the whole time, you didn't want your character to constantly tell you it wasn't ready yet. Next we have the kill command macro. Kill command was an ability that wasn't on the global cooldown, but you wanted to use whenever it was available. So it was just macroed into everything and Kill Command would just tell your pet to attack the target for some extra bonus damage. And finally, you would have the Cast Sequence Reset line. Basically what you do is type in slash Cast Sequence Reset, and then you'd put the number as your ranged attack speed, and usually just add a .01 to it just to be safe. So if your ranged attack speed was 2.10, you would change it to 2.11 to allow for a margin of error. Then you'd add Steady Shot to the sequence, and then Auto Shot after it with an exclamation point in front of it, which gave it priority and reduced the chances that it would clip. Then, once both of the abilities in the cast sequence have been cast, or the timer is up, the macro would reset. And then to close off the macro, you'd have another hiding script UI error line, or a slash pet attack line, that way your pet was always attacking your target, and if you're using a Wind Serpent pet, you would add its lightning breath to the macro as well. So the final macro would look like this. So with this, spamming the button will allow you to use Steady Shot, and then would wait just enough time for your Auto Shot to go off before starting the cast of the next Steady Shot, allowing you to perfectly weave your Steady Shots with your Auto Shots without clipping any of them. 
and hunters would do perfectly reasonable DPS with just this macro alone, and manually using your two DPS cooldowns off cooldown, Bestial Wrath and Rapid Fire. Now, the reason this was basically a Birdie Crusade only type thing was because they changed a few things about the game after this. In Wrath of the Lich King, they made it so you could no longer clip your auto shots, so you didn't have to worry about weaving in any of your abilities to let the auto shot fire, and they also nerfed Steady Shot to no longer be ridiculously good, and kind of just nerfed BM as a whole. And they also messed with the cast sequence macro line sometime later on in WoW's history, not that you'd really need it since you don't need to worry about clipping your auto shots anymore. Basically, if you didn't have to worry about clipping your auto shots in the Burning Crusade, you wouldn't really have to worry about having a complicated macro. You could just spam Steady Shot as much as you wanted, and then just add Kill Command to the ability in a macro. You technically could macro your other two DPS cooldowns to the macro as well, as neither was on the global cooldown, but a good player will know the best time to use cooldowns on a boss fight, so you kind of want to activate those manually. And there you have it, the one button hunter rotation. Unlike most of the clickbait macro things you'll see from PvP YouTubers, this was actually a one button rotation, as long as you don't count having to activate cooldowns, or putting up hunters mark before the fight.